Okay, you can hold there. Oh, that's going a lot easier. Take it in. Take a it little. In. Yep. All right, that's good. Let it out a little. Tying it down now. Perfect job. Okay, thanks. Why do the honors? Sure, sure. I'm just gonna see if we can just knock it off like this. I'm doing a little figure eighty thingy. <laughs> I saw one just come off. I don't know if we can get off it though. Get it back down and make sure you got a good hand. 
What's up? Now that we're trying to get all the seaweed off it. Let me just jump in. Who, you? You wouldn't just jump in. We are going in, are we? That feels a lot better. Feels pretty good. It's just kind of distant, you don't have to jump in. I can just look at the GoPro. Huh? There. You can see it, but I don't know if that came from here or what. Little weeds. Wrap it ourselves. That was exciting. Yeah, that was exciting. I think that was a good call, dude. Yeah, just for now. Dude, can you see like the clouds building in the back here? I just don't want one of these, like another one of these little guys to build up here. We just took our cruising chute down because we ended up getting into a squall line with 35, 40 knot winds and we were surfing down the waves with a new speed record of 16.2, which is pretty stupid. And now we're back wing to wing because we got a bunch of big like cumulus clouds building in the back and I think they're probably going to have the same amount of wind and if this happened at night and Bill and I weren't up here, I think it Epically, not epically bad, but we we'll, could break something. If that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Back to the old wing to wing. I know what's going on here. You can't fool me. What's that? Y'all just don't want me to win our bet, huh? No, I would like you to win the bet. Floor 11. You see, we have a crew bet on when exactly we will cross the finish line in St. Lucia. And I proposed a very uninformed and just basically from the gut December 4 at 4 p.m. and 44 minutes because I like 4444. Four, four. I'm clearly not Chinese. Now, everyone else has made strongly informed, educated propositions. And now that we've changed the sales, my a bit aggressive <laughs> and optimistic is less likely. Oh well. Who wants to get there at happy hour anyways? David is in luxuriating in the confidence of a man who has adjusted his sails properly for the weather. And here he is steering well in the conditions of almost 30 knots of true wind. Nice work, Captain. Way better than the cruising chute. So we got 25 to 30 knots of true wind right now, and the rudder feels really nice. It's not fighting us. We're not surfing down the waves going 15, 16 knots. We're doing like nine, 10 knots. Much better, but I think we're gonna get a lot more wind coming up here behind us once the swell line hits. This is what happened last time. I think we're gonna get by 35. Keep an eye on that big cloud. It is almost our last night. In fact, it very well could be our last night out at sea here during our Atlantic crossing. And we've run into two of the biggest squalls yet in a matter of hours and a very mysterious vessel as well. What is that thing up there? Just sitting there. That boat. Uh, it's called the Posh Xanadu. Posh Xanadu? Yeah. That sounds like a nightclub in Las Vegas. I know. It's uh, 126 meters long moving, only at about six knots, which is That is unusual. Well, Not maybe they're having a party. <laughs> There's a vessel, a very large vessel, and it's named Posh, Posh Xanadu. Xanadu. I mean, really? Yeah, 126 meters, which means she's about 400 feet long. The Posh Xanadu is 400 feet long. Somebody needs to Google this Posh Xanadu right now. Tell me more. And her destination is Mata, Brazil. Called the Posh Xanadu. It's over 100 meters long, which makes it epically gigantic. And we spied it in our binoculars. And it appears to be an oil rig. 
moving rather quickly for an oil rig at five and a half knots. So it just leaves whatever coast and just cruises by knots all the way down to Brazil? Apparently. That's why. They gotta get there somehow, right? You think they built that thing down there? Yeah, perhaps. Matthew! Got a fish on. Fish out! Fish out! Fish out! It's a dolphin fish. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Just because of the shade? Very good. Very good. Try by, try by. This is Lagoon 42. This is Prime View. Come back. We're winning. Winning a lot. <laughs> we raced across the Atlantic Ocean in the Atlantic Rally Crossing. We're in the second to slowest catamaran in the entire race. And we're going to come in fifth or sixth overall. And with our corrected like, time, we could come in even better. Woo -woo. Three months of sailing experience. Record setter. Record setter. You might have a little more experience. Yeah, but not on catamaran. Yeah. <laughs> or the Atlantic. Only 38 miles to go, and David is getting himself all fancied up. It's so noble, so noble. Hey. Atlantic crossing! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, jeez. Nice work, crew. Nice. Nice job, everyone. Last lunch. Great time. Thank you, David. Thank yes. you, Kelly. Sure Thank you. Thank you. We made it. Let's not count our uh, turkeys yet. Salute. We are 30 miles away from our destination in St. Lucia. And we are close. This is it. The final stretch. We made it across the Atlantic. Almost to the finish. I can't wait to get a good night's sleep. 